Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to our channel MCQ's platform and our page Learn Basic English Grammar. So today we are going to continue our remaining section of noun. So what we will learn today noun nouns used as different components of a sentence. Before going to start, I would like to remind you that what we have learned in previous lectures. In initial lecture, we read about parts of speech. Secondly, we go through about the noun and then the types of noun. Types of noun had two parts. In first section, in first video, we read about four types and in the last video, we read about five remaining sections or types of the noun. Today we are going to learn about nouns used as different components of a sentence. You must remember that a basic structure of the sentence is subject, verb, object. So components of a sentence is somehow we can say the pieces of a single sentence. So where noun can be used in different places of the sentence just like noun can also be used in the subject portion noun can be also be used in the object portion so let us move to start first of all we are going to learn about nouns used as a subject okay so what what does it mean it means that first we are going to learn now on the beginning class okay for example before going to start i would like to give a little a little bit information about its definition or we can define it in simple words when let me it and boy when used when now used is a subject you can say main noun used as a subject mostly appears it mostly appears appears at the beginning of a sentence okay it can be identified then it can be identified as by asking the question who now let me give you one example then you can understand this what we can say this definition for example examples John went to the playground now look at this when what when noun used as a subject is mostly appears at the beginning of the sentence first it must be appears at the beginning of the sentence this is what beginning of the sentence it can be identified what it can only be recognized if you ask the question who now look at this John went to the playground. Now, if we say, if we remove it and we can ask who went to the playground, then it answers John. Who went? John. Then we can recognize or identify that what, which is the noun in the sentence, then it is John because it is the answer of the who. Question who? WHO. Who went to the playground? John. So we can identify that John is here the noun. Noun is John is the noun. Okay. Similarly, let me give you another example. For example, the teacher asked the students to submit their assignments 
okay assignments who asked the students to submit their assignments then we can say the teacher who asked the teacher so we can recognize or identify the teacher is the noun here and which noun which kind of the noun which component subject okay so this is what noun is being used as the subject of the sentence you must always remember here let me give you one more sentence structure the basic sentence structure okay basic sentence structure that is subject plus verb plus object okay so where it is being used here in the first part look at this this is the subject this is the subject so let me define let me give you one and another example the elephant okay now i am just giving capital here to show you to let you identify the noun in the subject portion the elephant was was rescued safely after 10 long hours so who was rescued here the elephant so we can say elephant is what the noun okay the teacher is the noun the john is the noun now should we move to the object on the second part that is the object noun used as the object now this was about noun used as the subject now we are going to learn about noun noun used is an object okay i hope you got point now what is the noun used as the object let me define it in the simple words so you can understand when there we i will try to write similar definition like this one when noun used as subject now we are going when nouns are used as the objects they appear in the later part of a sentence but we can say later part of the sentence later part means the at the end or in the third part or after few words just like after verb in this in the sentence structure subject verb and object so object is object is the place which comes after the verb so this is what they appear in the later part of the sentence in this uh, definition it means after the verb so we can say here let me define something more it can be like there it was able to be identified by the question who so here we can say it can be identified by asking the question what question what where in the first part in the subject part we said by asking the question who but here the question what let me give you examples so you can understand examples okay I bought a laptop. So let me ask the question what? What I bought? A laptop. So here we can say the answer of the question what is laptop? What I bought? I bought a laptop. So this would be, this will be noun used as an object. Okay.
I hope you understand. Let, let me give you another example. Where you, where is your laptop? So I can ask here the question, what, what are you looking for? You are looking for, I'm looking for laptop. So this would be the, this would be the noun used as an object. Let me give you the last example about noun used as an object. I cannot find my I cannot find the pen. So what you cannot find? The pen. So it would be the noun used as an object. I hope you understood about the noun used as an object. So noun used as different components of a sentence. First component we used as the subject and then we read about as an object. Now let me give you another concept about the direct object and indirect object. So let me now nouns used is a direct object. I hope you understood both two, two both concepts, previous two concepts. I hope you understood two previous concepts. Now you are going to learn further detail about the direct and the indirect object. Okay. For example, what is the concept of direct object and indirect object? First, we are going to read about direct object, then we will read about the indirect object. So, for example, you can you can identify a noun used as a direct object by asking question what you must remember if you are going to recognize that either it is the direct object or indirect object then you have to ask the question what if you are going to detect the direct object then you have to ask the question what how let me give you examples first example is Do you want a juice? For example, juice. Do you want a juice? Or do you want a chocolate? Or anything you can ask. So, what do you want? Chocolate. So, this is what? What? It is the answer of the question what? If you are able to ask this question and you get the answer in the noun shape, the chocolate, this is the noun, okay, then it is what the direct object of the subject or the verb, unless the action is being, uh, this is the what want a chocolate. So this is what the direct object, okay. So we can ask here the question, what do you want? What do you want? Then you can say a chocolate. So whenever you are able to be, you are able to get the answer in a noun shape, then it would be chocolate or noun. And it is the direct object. Let me give you another example. I love my dress okay so what did you love what did you love then the answer would be my dress my dress so it is what this is the we can say this is the noun 
and it is used in the object section so it is being answered by the question what so it can be called as the direct object when i am going to give you the definition of the indirect object along with examples then you can differentiate between both these two concepts so you would understand better now let me give you noun used is an indirect object okay look at this now let me define it you can ask the question for whom to identify the noun used as an indirect object so this is the what identification point either a noun is used as the direct object or indirect object so if you are going to ask for whom let me unbold it and bold only the thing you have to ask that is for whom okay for whom if you are buying something then you will answer for whom so let me give you examples then you can understand better about it the first point the first example is in the in in the direct object we ask the question what okay but in the indirect object we will ask for whom for example i can say john bought his sister lollipop okay so what is the a lollipop okay so john bought his sister a lollipop now we are going to ask what he bought what john bought then it is all about the lollipop then it would be a direct object but for whom this is what direct object but john bought his sister john bought for whom john bought for his sister so it would be indirect object i hope you understood about it now let me give you another example ali bet sara a cake here you can understand you can ask the question what ali bet a cake let me give what ali bet then a cake it would be direct object and for whom for whom ali bet then it would be for sara sara would be indirect object okay so i hope you understood about it so i hope you understood about both of these concept and the above concepts about the noun used as an object and noun used as the subject now give me another example another concept about the compliments noun used as a compliment so compliment before going to understand about the subject compliment and object compliment you must have information you must have description you must have definition about the compliment we can search it on the oxford advanced learner's dictionary where it has been defined that compliment is something added in 
a word in a noun to give it further information or to make it more attractive so when you are going to add information for anything for a word for a person then it would be a compliment so for making it attractive so we can say compliment here first give me let me write the concept name concept name nouns used as a subject compliment is a compliment okay so this is the name of the concept we will learn today noun used as a complement so first when a noun is used let me define it okay when, when a noun is used when a noun is used as a modifier modifier or describe another noun it acts as a complement when a noun is going to modify or describe another noun then we can say it is working as it is acting as a complement for example first we are going to define noun used as a subject complement first what is the subject complement okay this is what subject complement so first give subject complement okay so for subject complement what we are going to describe or modify that is what professions we can say professions and positions sorry professions and positions can perform the role of a subject complement so we can say when we are going to add a profession or position of a person then that position or profession would be counted as the complement or this such a complement how for example for example we can say my brother is a doctor so my brother is a doctor so what is his position or profession what is his profession doctor so doctor is the complement of the subject and it is preferring to my brother it is providing the information about the brother and it is coming in the portion of the subject okay so it is describing who oh, my brother so this doctor is the profession and it is the complement subject complement because it is giving the information about the subject my brother is the subject so it is it would be counted as the subject complement okay similarly we can say jawar lal nehru was the first prime minister of india for example okay so jawar lal nehru is the person coming in the subject portion was the first prime minister of india so here the profession or the position is the prime minister so it is giving additional information about jawaharlal nehru so it is called as the subject complement complement we understood about the describing or modifying a noun so it is modifying 
ओ जवाहरलाल नेहरू सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज कॉम्प्लीमेंट विच पोर्शन सब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दी ऑब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट ओके नाउन नाउन यूज एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट so let me define first then we will give example okay for example objects object complement are nouns that follow the a nouns that follow the noun they modify okay and it it would consider names professions and positions can perform the role of an complement there we learn about the only position and profession here we can say name professions positions okay and object complements are nouns that follow the noun they modify it means only the following the nouns they modify for example let me give you examples then you can understand better examples here the first example we named our dog we named our dog shell for example we named our dog shell so here we can say dog is already an object okay and it is additionally defining the name shell its name is shell so it would be counted as the object complement i have already told you here that a basic concept of this simple sentence and structure is subject verb object and the object is already coming in the later part so it is additionally defining the shell okay similarly we can give you another example the teacher the teacher made ali is what the class leader or class leader so here the class leader is modifying who to ali so it would be complement and it is complement coming in the portion of the object so it would be called as the object complement i hope you understood about it and if you have any question you can ask in the comment section and if you haven't watched our previous lecture about noun definition about the definition of parts of speech definition of noun then types of noun part 1 types of noun part 2 then you must watch it in the previous uh, i will give you the link in the description so you can watch it there and if you want to learn more about the noun as we will learn in the next lecture the last part of the noun that is the multifunctional nouns we will learn the several functions of the noun like yeah. noun can be used as the verb noun can be used as the adjective how we can make the verb from noun how we can make the adjective from noun or adject noun can be made from the adjectives and noun can be made from the verbs so we will learn in the next lecture the remaining and the last part of the noun so see you in the next part please like our video share it with your friends and follow us and subscribe us on our channel mcqs platform thanks a lot see you tomorrow love this